That's right, both sides now. Mort Saul, George Putnam right here, and your side to be heard from in just a moment. A lot of big happenings in the world today. The president, of course, delivered his State of the Union message. There's some good news, but there's also some mighty bad news. He calls for a permanent cut in income tax rates, 16.5 billion for individuals, 6 billion for corporations, and that, of course, on top of the, the rebate for 1974 income. Any comments on that, Mort? Yeah, I think uh, before we do anything about the world, we better set our own house in order. Uh, I think that uh, based on what's been said on this program, which I think is largely irresponsible, and since uh, I did not franchise those remarks, but I was here, and after listening to you, I feel like I need a bath, <laughs> I want to apologize to the Los Angeles police, whom I do not know personally, have refused to appear in this program as you charged. I want to apologize to Justice Douglas, for having his integrity impugned on this program in a smear and innuendo, a technique of smacks of innuendo. I want to apologize to Al Parvin, who gave a million dollars to eye research at UCLA out of what you called nefarious and illegal activity, which happens to be gaming and interior decoration, which is listed on the big board of the New York Stock Exchange. Uh, gaming is legal in Nevada, the last I checked, which was at 2 o'clock this afternoon when I left. Uh, I think that uh, there's room for both sides here, but I think you've done a disservice to the conservative cause. You've run out on them because you got scared and because you got nervous because two critics, John Barber and Dick Adler, made you nervous. I think you've given conservatism a bad name. I don't remember it sounding like that. And uh, I won't participate unless somebody states the other side. I want documentation. The time of Joe McCarthy is gone, thank God. Are you quite through? Not altogether. Stick around right. for an hour. Give me a chance. I'd like to respond as follows. Whatever charges I've made here are documented, and I will prove them. That's number one. Number two, I'm not attacking anyone as you attacked me last night. You decided to smear me. You went after me. I went after facts. It's a good thing. I don't have merciful. to stand here and take it. But I'll change, I'll ch exchange with you any time, any place. I'll debate you any place. But let's stick to facts and forget the emotion. Because if we get emotional, then it isn't going to be both sides now. It's going to be a repeat of your first show of eight years ago and the reason you were off the air for eight years. If you if we would, got uh, to go to that and resort to that more, then know, we're in trouble. I was hoping, you now, know. Now, I that... praised you at great length, and you praised hey, listen, Douglas. back up, Godzilla. I yeah. praised you. Just back up. I praised you on ABC I'm the other night. I'm not Larry McCormick. Shut up. I praised, you many, Shut up. Times. I praised you many times. Shut your fucking mouth Man. for a change. Cut it, please. There's no sense in proceeding. Get your finger out of my Just face, or they'll pick you up, up with a sieve. Don't try it. Uh, Don't try it. Christ's sake. Listen. You've been nervous ever since you, you got wrapped by, by the L.A. Times. You. I got nervous. I don't want your praise. Everything. Cut the cut the tape. There's no sense in proceeding. I want the if documentation on Al Parvin. Before this audience, instead of doing a show, you're, then you're showing yourself for what you are—a damn fool, Mort. I've tried to be a friend of yours, and I don't give a damn what you say. I called you now. I don't want to do them to remember me as a friend of yours. Thank you. Thank you for that. I think you're putting on a hell of a lousy demonstration here. Really? You're a lousy showman and a lousy trooper. Because Just if save you it hate for the my air. guts. Save it for the air. You, I'm not going to go on the air with you if that's the way you feel Is that about me. that a promise? Me. If that's the way you feel about me. This show cannot go off the air. This show cannot go off the air. I'm tired of people talking as though free speech can go to hell and nobody gives a damn. Excellent. Right on. Uh, now, both of you better get yourselves together. Somehow, you got to go on. I didn't start anything, madam. I'm willing to be a showman, even if he hates my guts. The show's the thing, is my opinion. He doesn't hate your guts. He sure, sure said it. Your guts are not in evidence and haven't been for seven days. <laughs> I think your, your nightclub quick lines are fine, and I can't compete with you on that basis, but Jackie Gale and Morton Burl and some of the others can. And if that's the kind of a show you want to do, then bring them to the audience. And if you continue to press who's... about why I went off eight years ago, we'll talk about why you went off. I know why I went off. Don't press your luck. I know why I went off, because I was preempted and couldn't get a rating. That's why I went off, and I was costing them too much money. 
Now, what else do you want to know? Can a member of the audience ask a question? Yes, sir, did go they, ahead. Did the, uh, Over here. We have no business. There. Someone respond, please? Well, we've got a lot of business there. Oh, yes. That's the problem. <laughs> I think the two of you ought to do your own show, Raj and Mort, Mort the Morton Raj Show. Don't tempt us, George. I'll tempt you. I'll tempt you. How do you like that? I don't like anything you say, but I have to listen to it. It might I? make a show, though, huh? No chance. No chance. For 10 years, I've been waiting for a show from you. I haven't heard one yet. Where's the plane leave for Vegas? <laughs> we'll be back in just a moment. Both sides now.